Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. Today in the continuation of our series on Spark interview questions, we'll discuss what is a Spark session. So guys, let's see what is a Spark session. So a Spark session has come from Apache Spark 2.0 version and onwards. So it has taken <coughs> place of the Spark context, which earlier used to be the entry point. Now, with the Spark 2.0 and onwards, a Spark session is the new entry point for the Spark application. So it is the master of the Spark application and it provides all the functionalities which were previously provided by Spark context in the previous versions of Spark. At the same time, a Spark session now provide high level APIs to work on data sets and data frames. Guys, as you are aware of, prior to Spark 2.0 version, Spark context was the main entry for Spark job. It used to be the master of the Spark application. And RDD in the versions prior to Spark 2.0 was the main API to work on data processing. And RDD could only be created and manipulated using the Spark context. There was a inherent distinction how the different contexts were handled in the versions prior to Spark 2.0. For each and every kind of context, like SQL context, high context, streaming context, you will have to create different kind of Spark SQL, Spark streaming or Spark hive context. But now with the Spark version 2.0 and onwards all these apis are available in the spark session directly so spark session is basically a high level abstraction on top of spark context and other related contexts available in the previous versions so now going on going forward with the version spark 2.0 and now currently spark 2.3 is available a spark session is the single object which can be used to work with any kind of APIs to create and manipulate data frames, data sets and other related services. Guys, let's see in this uh, slide that how to create a Spark session. There's a Scala code and this is how a Spark session is produced. There is an object given by the Spark uh, core, which is Spark session. And there's a builder method on top of that, which can be used to create a singleton Spark session across the uh, entire execution of Spark application job. So guys, that's it in this, this particular video. This was primarily to uh, educate that with Spark version 2.0 and forwards, Spark context is replaced by Spark session and all the data manipulation transformations and ac actions are now going to work with Spark session. So guys, that's it in this particular video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.